Hey guys, what's going on? So I'm working on a few tracks actually, and here's one of them. And today I want to talk about adding some motion to, to parts that are very repetitive. I have an introduction here, and there's a drum loop that goes on for 16 bars, and not a lot is going on. And I f if I feel like I add new elements, it's just going to clutter the arrangement. So I just want to add some subtle things that will give life and some movement to the repetitive part. So let's check it out real quick and then we'll add some automation. Okay, so nothing happens pretty much until bar nine. So for eight bars, we have a drum loop, which is, I think it's a pretty cool loop, but still, we need, we, we need little elements to spice it up. Otherwise, your listener gets bored. So one thing that I thought of was um, automating a reverb on, on specific parts of the drum loop. So for instance, if I zoom in, we're going to have, uh, let's uh, rewind. This hit right here is a snare drum, and um, I have a Valhalla Vintage Verb on aux track D, and if I click here on Ableton, see how the line goes up in the track for automation? So I'm going to play with that line. That line is basically the reverb. So if, if I let the first snare drum be dry and the second be wet, that's already creating some kind of movement in our, and I'm going to smooth it out like this in our loop. Just check it out. Then I'm going to add another one here, maybe a different kind of shape, just, you know, just because. No reason. I might tweak it one more time. That might be a little much, so I'm going to select the whole thing, press shift, and click on somewhere in the automation and just bring it down. That's good. Uh, maybe add a little one here. Let's see how that sounds. Uh, maybe something strange that drops kind of suddenly. So another one here. Bring it down. One here. So I'm randomly picking some some things and maybe towards the end I'm gonna create like a little slope that will uh, I don't know create some like a kind of crescendo let's see how that sounds and maybe something more drastic what's the point if we can't really hear it so here okay so let's listen to the whole thing and see if that's adding some kind of spice to if, if it's accomplishing what we want. Okay, so I think it is. I think the only thing is that it's too obvious. So one thing I could do is maybe just tweak that reverb because I just kind of slapped it in there and I didn't... I think it's a little long of a decay and maybe find a pre-delay that like grooves. And the way we do that is we will just listen to it. Um, let me see, just play it, put it here. Maybe a little more. Uh, hold on. Maybe a little less. Whoa. So just kind of something that's kind of like an echo almost. And I think there's still too much uh, decay. Maybe that the, the room is too big for, you know, for the arrangement. So change the size a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and bring the whole thing down to make it less noticeable. And on another tutorial, I'm going to add more things like these that I can just automate and slowly, I don't know, get... Ah, whatever. I'll do one right now. Let's pick something else. Maybe an Ableton... 
an Ableton uh, oof, plugin, the saturator. So let me see what that's going to do and, and see if that's going to work. Wait, I think I put that on the wrong track right here. Oh, yeah, it's fine. Okay, so I'm going to add this uh, dry wet. I'm going to click on it. And again, I'm going to have an automation line. Just for clarity, let's, uh, let's have it on a separate lane, which is something you can do on Ableton by clicking that uh, arrow. And so um, this time I'm going to target maybe the kicks. So here we have a kick drum. So let's see. And I'm going to bring the output of this down whenever that thing goes up. Um, so I know it's kind of complicated. So add another. So output down. See? So let's check that out. That's cool. And this time I'm just going to duplicate the... Uh, the automation by pressing option command D and it only well actually that's not working uh, no it's not working so I'm just gonna do it uh, I'm just gonna right click on it um, it won't let me actually huh never mind I'll just do it manually I'll do it over here do maybe here um, so just kinda random things maybe one here and that way the, ch the sound is constantly changing and another thing that I have is a uh, I think that's already sounding a lot more interesting than how it initially was. See how it's more static now without the automation? So this time I will just kind of uh, grab everything and do the duplicate. It lets me do it on the top. So what I would have to do is switch it here, go to satur saturator, select this, uh, option command D, it duplicates it. And then for also the dry wet, see what I'm doing? And then we got the same thing going on. get to a big break on 17. And that's it. We just, uh, I'm going to keep doing stuff like this to the intro and to the other parts of the song so that there's movement, but I just wanted to quickly share the process as I started it. So that's it, guys. Hope this was useful and uh, stay tuned for more. <laughs>